Hello everyone, after playing through almost the entire campaign, I'm pretty convinced at this point that this is the best spot to farm experience and the best spot to get well at the same time. And if you wanna make this the absolute most effective, then there's some items I recommend that you use and a transformation I recommend you use to make this better. The first Curios I'm recommending you use is the Gold Flora Hairpin. The Gold Flora Hairpin will slightly increase your will gain from defeating enemies. Then I recommend using the Celestial Registry tablet that slightly increases the experience gained from defeating enemies and then you're also going to want to use the Taoist basket of fire and water so this moderately increases attack for all burn inflicting and chill inflicting transformations and the chill inflicting part is the most important part because of the transformation we're going to use and I'll get to that in a second and then you're also going to want to have for your spirits the lantern holder and then the passive effect on this spirit is to moderately increase the will that you gain and then with all of this equipped you're going to want to go to your set spells at a keeper shrine and then make sure that you have the hoar frost transformation unlocked and then also equipped and then finally you're going to want to go to your transformations tab when you're igniting the sparks and you're going to want to increase the damage of the snow veil which is for the hoar frost transformation so that's going to increase how much damage you do when you're in the hoar frost transformation if you have any extra sparks just put them into this and then i also have some in evergreen so that your might decay is slightly reduced while you're transformed just to make sure you don't run out while you're doing this to make it as fast as possible and then finally you're going to want to be at the webbed hollow pool of shattered jade keeper shrine in chapter four and then while we're looking at this keeper shrine you're going to take a slight right and then move forward go around this little bend and then you're going to see a bunch of spider egg sacks and when you're standing right about here you're going to want to transform into hoarfrost and then you're going to want to only perform heavy attacks so this is gonna be doing big area effect damage. And then you'll slowly take out all of these egg sacks and just slowly step forward a little bit at a time. Try to stay out of the range of these spiders trying to attack you. And then just keep doing this until you take out the first couple of egg sacks. And then once you're fully charged and you have the first ones done, then you're gonna go right into the middle of all of these egg sacks right here. And then this is where you're gonna activate your ability. And this will take out the rest of the egg sacks. And as you can see, <laughs> that's pretty darn quick. In this whole area, there's actually 25 egg sacks. And each one of those egg sacks with all of this stuff equipped gives you 115 experience. So 25 times 115 is 2,875 experience for each run of this that you do. And then every single egg sack gives you a little bit of variation in it, but it's about 127 to 130 will for each egg sack. And then since there's 25 egg sacks, then that's 3,200 total will roughly for each run. And then I've tried this both ways using the incense trail talisman, which allows you to teleport back to the keeper shrine. And I've also just simply ran back to the keeper shrine and then rested. And after timing it depends on how fast your PC is. For me, it's just faster to simply run back to the keeper shrine and then rest and then go back at it. So when I'm being as efficient as possible while doing this, it only takes me about 50 seconds total. So if you're doing this, 50 seconds for each run roughly then per hour you're going to be getting about 201,250 experience and 224,000 will and that's all there is to it thank you for watching subscribe for more and i'll see you all in the next one